Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to compute BMI or Body Mass Index. Body Mass Index or BMI, it is formerly called the Cutlet Index. It combines a person's weight with their height and the results of BMI measurement can give an idea about whether a person has the correct weight for their height indicating a person's nutritional status. And now the formula for BMI is weight in kilograms over height in meters squared. Since heights are measured using different units of measurement, for example this one, 5 feet and 2 inches, we will need to convert this into meters. So to convert to meters, we will first take the 5 feet, multiply it by 12, because in every foot there are 12 inches. So 5 times 12 equals 60 inches. Now, 60 plus the 2 inches remaining from the height would give you 62 inches. Now, 62 multiplied by 0 0.0254 because in every inch, there are 0 0.0254 meters. So, that would give you 1.5748. So, this is now the person's height in meters. But since we will be needing meters squared, and when we say meter squared, we would have to compute or multiply the number by itself. So 1.5748 multiplied by itself will give you 2.48. So this is now the meter squared. Okay, now that we have already finished converting, let's go or proceed to the computation. So again, the formula for BMI is weight in kilograms over height in meters squared. So if, for example, a person's weight is 60 kilograms and the height is 5'2", as given earlier, so 60 kilograms divided by 2.48, so that would give you a BMI of 24.1. Now let's take a look at this table. So this will be the interpretation of BMI. If the person's BMI is 24.1, so that would mean that the person is within his or her normal weight. If the person's BMI falls below 18.5, so that would mean that the person is underweight. And above 25, that would mean that the person is obese. So take note, however, that BMI is interpreted differently for children and teens. Even though it is calculated using the same formula as adult BMI, children and teens BMI needs to be age and sex specific because the amount of body fat changes with age and the amount of body fat differs between girls and boys. BMI also has its own limitations because athletes may have high BMI. That's because of increased muscularity rather than increased body fatness. In general, a person who has high BMI is likely to have body fatness and would be considered to be overweight or obese, but these may not apply to athletes. A trained healthcare provider should perform appropriate health assessments in order to evaluate an individual's health status and risk. And these are my references. Thank you so much for listening.